Mickey Butler, let's get the obvious out of the way first of all. We have to look to the skies this weekend as well. Uh, the Goodyear blimp is upon us. Uh, tell us exactly what that means to you lot, corporately. I had to think about it then, Steve. Um, as not as if I got enough to worry about all weekend, I've now got to look up to, to the skies. Um, <laughs> yeah, it means a lot to the company. Um, the history with the you know with the airship, the first one took flight in 1917. I'm being told from a crib sheet I've been sent. <laughs> um, so 1917, they've been in the air. You know, we we got it back over Europe last year in 2020 at Le Mans. So to get it back over for Brands Hatch this weekend, are just tremendous. And if I remember rightly, last time we flew over Brands Hatch was in 1978. Wow. So hopefully, Steve, so you would have remembered it. Uh, yeah, I was, I was probably there. I was probably there. Uh, <laughs> but my eyes were on the racing, I'm sure. But what I do recall was, was the Goodyear blimp used to be over big football matches in the course of the last 10 years. Where has it been for the last 10 years? I think it's been on furlough, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you know, obviously the last couple of years have been difficult. We've got four airships, three are based in America full time and obviously we brought it back into Europe when Goodyear announced coming back to Europe and to the UK. So it's now based in, you know, over in Europe and it's done Le Mans, it's gonna do Le Mans again in August. I'd like to see it more in the UK, but with the restrictions and one thing or another, it's very difficult. Well, it's got a camera on board, it'll give us some fantastic views tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, more importantly, from your point of view, tyre issues this weekend, what are the options, what are the, what the, the, the tactical choices, what is uh, the best way for the teams to play things, but potentially with rain tomorrow as well? Yeah, I don't like the word tyre issues, we'll all have a good weekend. Um, we've only got the medium compound, you know, the, so we should be OK, temperatures should be a lot cooler than we saw at Snetterton, although we finished FP1, I think the track was 32 degrees. Right long distance weather forecast is rain three, race three could be wet tomorrow, so let's wait and see. Um, people are pushing the boundaries in FP1, you know what it's like around here, it's all about qualifying. They don't seem to work on the race, it's just about qualifying here. It's so important to have a good grid slot. Yeah, and, and from the point of view of tyres, uh, how is, how is um, the short circuit of Brands Hatch in terms of tyre wear? It's okay. I mean, from wheel drives, it's all through the one tyre. You know, there's a lot of loading go through that. There's a lot of people kind of run the kerbs, but I'm not envisioning any problems. I might have just jinxed it. Um, <laughs> but no, I'm, brands. It's just the temperature and people pushing the boundaries with the setup. Excellent. Have a good weekend, Mickey. And you, Steve. Take care.